Is there anything more utterly freeing than immersing oneself in a swimming pool and letting the water render your body weightless? Not in my book. My name is Anthony Archer Wills and they call me the Pool Master. Throughout history, humans have settled near water, whether it's river villages, lake towns, or oceanside cities. We're drawn to the stuff, like ducks to, well, water. Of course, not everyone is lucky enough to live by natural water, but when humans can't move to water, they move water to them. That's where I come in. I've been building pools for the last five decades. I know, that's a jolly long time. Building pools has taken me all around the world, and I've seen and swum in some of the most incredible aquatic creations ever made. I'm going to show you some of the most spectacular pools on the planet. This is Ultimate Pools. For me, Mother Nature is the ultimate swimming pool designer, and I revel in emulating the ways of wild water, like this first pool you're about to see in upstate New York. What better place to start our journey than with a pool the team and I built? I'm so excited to be able to share this with you. I call this the Woodland Pool, and I designed it to be totally in harmony with the natural surroundings. We are in a glade with beautiful birches, oaks, maples, and beaches all around us, and it's the kind of pool one would stumble across when walking through a natural forest. Four years ago, this area was littered with dead and decaying trees. My team and I came in, cleared it out, and created a space that is now filled with 800,000 gallons of naturally filtered water. No chemicals, no chlorine. This gradual pebble beach is perfect for the kiddos who can splash around in the shallow waters while their parents venture into the 13-foot depths beyond. I designed this pool to be as large as possible. One can never have a pool too big. It always should look as though the water came first and the house was designed to enjoy the beautiful natural expanse of water. This immense swimming basin is 160 feet across and 140 feet wide. That's larger than a professional basketball court. An expansive lawn lines the edge of the pool. No ugly concrete barriers here, just water in harmony with the surrounding earth. I'm on a mission to mirror nature down to the finest detail. If I've done my job properly here, you're thinking this pool looks more like a natural lake. Keeping this 800,000 gallon swimming pool gin clear requires a separate basin called a biofilter, which does all the work of a traditional filter, but is infinitely quieter, more beautiful, and all natural. Well, as they say, the proof of the pudding is in the eating or in the swimming, so we better find out. Let's go. Oh, beautiful. You know there's nothing quite like taking a dip in a natural swimming pool. You feel at one with nature. Truly, it's a magical experience. Natural pools may be my bread and butter, but I'm in constant awe of the masterpieces created by my fellow designers. This pool you're about to see was built for a homeowner who not only loves the mountains, but is also a keen scuba diver. This two million dollar pool is simply called the Mountain. And the name couldn't be more appropriate. The centerpiece of this pool is a colossal 90-foot man-made mountain that emulates the natural surroundings perfectly. Constructed with rebar, metal beams, and 360 yards of concrete, all perfectly stained to make this jaw-dropping, natural-looking creation. There's more than one way to scale this peak. There are two bridges and pathways winding to the top, as well as a hidden water slide that tunnels 60 feet through the mountain to the pool below. There are five 
waterfalls, the tallest towering at over 20 feet and ushering over 3,000 gallons of water per minute over its edges. It's the ultimate diving rock. The interior is honeycombed with caves and tunnels which are carved and stained to look like natural rock. There are all sorts of secret nooks and crannies, even a hidden grotto where you can gaze out from behind the falls. There's a full kitchen, complete with granite countertops, stainless steel cabinets, a massive eight burner grill and a mini refrigerator nestled into the rocky walls. There's also a changing room complete with a shower, full-size lockers, and a loo. That's a toilet for you Yanks. The pool is truly massive. It's 140 feet long. That's about as long as four school buses end to end. And 60 feet wide, holding a staggering 360,000 gallons of chlorinated water. There's also a 300-foot lazy river propelled by jets pushing over 600 gallons of water per minute around the perimeter. But to really plumb its depths, you have to suit up. One of the reasons this pool was built was to allow the owners to practice their scuba diving almost a thousand miles from the ocean. But it's not all fun and games. You need to be scuba certified to explore the bottom of this pool. From a secluded entry point inside the mountain, a 54 foot long and five feet wide underwater tunnel leads into the pool, allowing you to plunge to a depth of 26 feet. Now I certainly don't know of many private pools deep enough to scuba dive. Pretty impressive. A computer hidden behind a faux rock wall controls the labyrinth of pumps and filters that keeps everything flowing. With 360,000 gallons to circulate, it requires eight three horsepower pumps, two five horsepower pumps, and three seven horsepower pumps to get the job done. After a long day of play, you can turn on the lights, relax and enjoy the view from the cabana. This really is the ultimate backyard escape. Next on Ultimate Pools, a pool whose most impressive features are revealed at night. And later, the largest pool ever built can truly works of art. While my pools embrace a more natural look, I find great beauty in designs that differ from my own. The next pool is a million dollar masterpiece built by John Shippey in Newport Beach, California. Wow, look at this magnificent pool. This is incredible. This ultra-sleek infinity pool has a stunning 115-foot-long vanishing edge with a 9-foot catch basin, providing an unobstructed view of the glittering Pacific Ocean. I love this. I mean, I, I love the simplicity, but also this elegance. More than 400,000 pounds of concrete were used in the construction of the pool's structural support and shell, which holds 130,000 gallons of fresh water. As you make your way around the pool, there is beautiful Brazilian Ipe decking, which is water resistant and tolerant of high temperatures, as well as gorgeous Portuguese limestone. Each imported limestone slab weighs more than 2,000 pounds, but gives the pool area its pristine modern white look. Also, what is great fun about this is how the pool becomes an extension of the architecture of the house. I love the fact that we're surrounded by water. There is water everywhere. We are actually feeling that water runs right up to the house. We seem to be suspended on water. 
The front of the pool contains a heated hydrotherapy spa with a sunken five-foot chamber called a hydro tube. It has jets that erupt at the touch of a button to soothe sore muscles. So yes, yeah, so we have all these different devices so I can kick down the spa jets. Right, look at the jets here. Yep. There are also submerged galvanized recliners with aeration devices beneath them, making you feel like you're floating. Suddenly, from tranquil, we've got wild water. This is so wild, you almost, oh my goodness me. At the other end of the pool, you'll find a swim jet powered by a seven horsepower motor that can be adjusted to variable intensities depending on how hard you want to swim. To add a bit of an artistic flair to the design, three surgical grade stainless steel balls were imported from Bali and affixed to a clear acrylic face to create the illusion that this eye-catching focal point is floating. In this wind, they almost feel they should be blowing away. Yeah. <laughs> a true work of art. The next stop on our journey takes us to the historic shipping town of Melissa, Texas, where a family has created their very own backyard paradise, inspired by their travels around the world. This 30 foot by 60 foot touring pool was constructed with the idea that if you can't go away on vacation, why not bring the vacation back home to you? Emulating the streams of the Rocky Mountains, the $500,000 design begins as a water course high above the pool. The water then flows over a series of waterfalls built from 300 tons of naturally sourced Oklahoma stone. The most impressive waterfall stands at 13 feet tall and directs nearly 600 gallons of water per minute over its edge. The waterfalls also conceal a five foot by seven foot grotto, perfect for anyone who might want a little privacy. For those in search of a sun-soaked tropical paradise, a small desert island was constructed using artificial turf accompanied by three beautiful Californian fan palm trees. A koi pond inspired by an Asian vacation was built with a separate filtration at the base of the pool, creating the illusion that the natural and artificial bodies of water are connected. The koi pond is not the only Asian-inspired element in the design. The homeowners love vacationing in Asia so much, they decided to build two massive tiki huts, towering 18 feet high, adorned with artwork and sculptures they picked up during their travels. This family has certainly taken souvenir hunting to a whole new level. This serene, stunning staycation location is a globetrotter's paradise. I've incorporated several elements of nature in my pool designs. Water, of course, metal, earth, rock and wood. But the one element that I've never had the pleasure of handling is fire. So I jumped at the chance to visit an exceptionally exciting pool located just outside of Los Angeles in the city of La Habra Heights. This is known to the locals as the Ring of Fire Pool. Let me show you round. Located on a $12 million European-style estate, this pool certainly turns a lot of heads, as every feature was designed with relaxation and luxury in mind. But the most stunning feature only reveals itself at night. Propane burners submerged beneath the water ignite to create flames that appear to dance on the surface of the water. And as long as you are at a safe distance from the flames, there's no reason to get out of the water either. The pool is equally spectacular during the day. Starting at the top of the hill, a fireside hot tub invites you to indulge in a relaxing dip with 25 of your closest friends. Down 
one stream, a 10-foot waterfall ushers 2,500 gallons of water into the swimming pool every minute. At 16 feet deep and 50 feet wide, this 300,000 gallon pool is large enough to host the biggest pool parties in town, and that's just the first of many adventures. Should you choose to take the express route into the main pool, there's one way of getting there that no one can resist. A 30-foot water slide with cooling misters at its entrance. Here is the exit to the flume ride. And just to make sure you come down properly wet, there's a waterfall to soak you coming over the front of it. The detail and designs in and around the pool are simply extraordinary. We have here a fountain from Italy, cost $120,000. It's beautifully intricate. The workmanship in this is unbelievable. For the more adventurous explorer, it's time to dive in a little deeper. Come with me. A secret passage. This is the swimmer. The refrigerator and skylight were designed to blend seamlessly into their surroundings. This pool has motivated me to push the boundaries of what elements I can incorporate into my designs. Combining water and fire is spectacular. Coming up, what really makes this pool unique, you have to see it from below. And later, the Guinness Book of World Records deemed this pool the largest on planet Earth. What makes a backyard pool truly magical is the way it can bring all the most beautiful elements of nature together in one ideal setting. This next pool takes us to Bel Air, California, where I met up with pool designer Don Goldstone to take a tour of his backyard retreat. Hey Don, great to meet you. How are you, Anthony? Nice to meet I'm you. I'm great. It's so good of you to show us your project. Well, thank you. This Bel Air home used to belong to Stephen Stills of Crosby, Stills and Nash and is situated in one of the most beautiful areas of Los Angeles. This stunning pool's design draws on its picturesque surroundings. The water begins its journey 75 feet above the pool and flows over a series of man-made waterfalls. Each rock is artificial and is made from concrete casts of real rocks and stained so they look like rocks you find in nature. Now this rock, I mean, it looks so convincing. This is just amazing. It's pure artwork. These natural-looking rocks are held in place with soil cement, a unique compound that is designed to give the look that the natural soil is being eroded away by the flowing water. But in fact, it's completely artificial. I would like to emulate nature, and this it seems to be just what you've done here. And we actually built this into the mountain to make it feel like it came out of a natural water source and down the hill. The illusion is perfect. Making your way down along a gurgling stream, you come upon a gorgeous natural-looking swimming pool. 32 feet long, 15 feet wide, and 7 feet at its deepest. What I love about this is the natural rock strata, how you've built it on the diagonal. It's part of the mountainside, just like nature. All the springs and streams seem to have combined. Not only does this rock wall water feature look incredible, it also acts as a retaining wall for the mountain above it. I love how it serves multiple purposes. I have found a real kindred spirit here in Don. Thanks, Don. <laughs> I appreciate that. I will do. This next pool you're about to see in Austin, Texas, was part of a $3 million new home construction which took incredible ingenuity in order to become a reality. 
When you first approach this home, the pool's beauty and craftsmanship are readily apparent. It blends perfectly with the sleek modern home beside it. The Brazilian imported Massa and Duba wood that panels the house extends to the deck around the pool. The wood is almost as hard as stone and is resistant against moisture, fire and decay. The deck leads to a shallow beach for sunbathing and an 83 foot long lap pool with breathtaking panoramic views of Lake Austin. But to understand what really makes this pool unique, you have to see it from below. The pool is a cantilever that juts out from the hillside. The entire weight of this massive pool and all 208,000 pounds of water in it is only anchored to the hill on one end. Cantilever pools are exceedingly difficult to construct and this is one of only a handful in the world. And while it is obviously a human creation and not the work of nature, it has extreme elegance to it. One of the pool's most striking features are the triangular acrylic panels which act as a prism, refracting the light and creating a bright blue glint of water high up on the hill. When you dive into the pool, you can experience the uncanny sensation of swimming underwater while simultaneously hanging off a cliff. This pool proves that when imagination meets engineering, the impossible is made possible. Coming up next, we visit a breathtaking pool suspended 150 feet above the rainforest of an island paradise. As a pool diner, I know it's not easy to blend the old with the new, but if it's done successfully, it can add so much character to a pool's overall design. Located just outside of Phoenix, Arizona, in a historic farming community, this $1 million pool is owned by a professional athlete who wanted somewhere his family could relax and play in the lap of luxury. This 2,800 square foot pool hugs the contours and curves of the house beautifully, as if they were made for each other. Well, they were. Both the house and pool were part of the same multi-million dollar design and built simultaneously. Towering over the pool are two giant cantilever shade sails that jut 32 feet out from their base, providing a refuge from the fierce desert sun. Below the sails, a series of seemingly levitating limestone slab benches are affixed to the concrete wall, providing a perfect vantage point for the splash pad. Now this is a bit of fun. A motion detector controls each underground jet so that the kids can play in the water at their command. This one-of-a-kind spa is an architectural marvel in its own right. The levitating steps and far pit mirror the nearby levitating benches under the shade sails. There are 32 copper spouts cast into the concrete exterior, linking the spa to the pool. Above the wet bar adjacent to the pool, a 40-inch flat-screen television is shielded by bronze artwork depicting the mountains that surround the house. Such wonderful attention to detail. A second television hides above a custom-built patinaed brass fireplace. A swim-up bar is a wonderful way to connect a pool to the rest of the property. And this one has a fully appointed kitchen, complete with stainless steel cabinets, a built-in mini-fridge, and an eight-burner gas grill. There's over 3,000 square feet of iridescent glass tile in the pool. So much, in fact, the country's three biggest tile installers had to work simultaneously to get it all installed on time. 
Paul's design pays homage to its historic roots with a decorative, reclaimed Aero Motto windmill that harks back to the irrigation ditches of the original farm this property was built on. It's a wonderful detail that ties the modern resort feeling with its farming past. My travels have taken me to some of the most exquisite places in the world, and I've visited pools in incredible locations, but this next pool is set in one of the most beautiful natural landscapes. It's simply called the Hanging Gardens. Deep in the heart of the island of Bali lies the remote village of Ubud home to the Hanging Gardens Ubud Resort and one of the most spectacular pools in the world, requiring over 2,000 builders working over an 18-month period. This astonishing $10 million dual-level infinity pool is a modern wonder of the world. Suspended 150 feet above the Ubud rainforest floor, these pools exist in perfect harmony with nature. The sinuous organic curves are designed to mimic the natural contours and lines of the terraced rice paddies found in the surrounding countryside. The pool embodies the hotel's philosophy of maintaining a natural landscape and leaving the surroundings undisturbed. The main pool has a 250-foot vanishing edge, was constructed using 6,500 square feet of specialty stone, which was harvested from the compressed ash of neighboring Mount Batur volcano. This unique material gives the pools their marvelous slate gray color. No two stones are identical either. Each one was cut to fit the unique shape of the pool. At its deepest point, the main pool is five and a half feet and holds over 44,000 gallons of water. Viewed from below, the pools look like geologic features, as if they'd grown naturally from the mountainside. The entire structure under and over the pool is equivalent to an eight-story building. But what looks rugged and organic from below appears sleek and elegant from above. The decking around the pools is made from 4,500 square feet of yulin, an ironwood sourced locally, that is resistant to changes in temperature, humidity, and water absorption. Pure white terrace steps leading down into the pool are made from Batu Chandi stone, also sourced from the Mount Batu volcano. At the bottom of the steps, a beach entry allows you to descend gracefully into the embrace of the water. Looking out from the pool's edge, you will feel as though you've become one with the jungle, floating out amongst the treetops. This is truly a one-of-a-kind pool, unlike any place else on Earth. Coming up, Mother Nature is an infinite source of inspiration. If you want a little change of scenery, oh, I don't believe this. This pool is simply breathtaking. Swimming design frequently requires that one push the boundaries of what is possible. And this next pool, designed by Skip Phillips for the Reed family in Del Mar, California, is a one-of-a-kind creation. Say, my word, <laughs> look at this. This 12,000 gallon chlorine pool sits in the middle of an intricately designed home, all on a hill with a steep grade. Due to the size of the lot, the architects designed the living spaces of the home vertically, which required the pool to be built with some unique innovations. Wow, how did this design come about? We had a lot of uh, design constraints. Uh, there's some elevation and view corridor restrictions. Uh, so rethinking how these elevations were going to work, the reeds had some uh, 
very definitive ideas on what they wanted to accomplish, as did the architect. In addition to providing architectural eye candy, this 50-foot pool provides plenty of room to exercise, and with buildings rising on either side, there's plenty of privacy. The infinity pool edge creates a uniform overflow effect, spilling into a five-foot catch basin. The home's interior reveals an ingenious lighting design. I say, look at this dancing light. Dare I look up? <laughs> In order to provide natural sunlight in the below-ground living area of the home, a skylight was cut through the bottom of the pool and into the 15-inch thick concrete ceiling that holds the pool in place. That's incredible. That's quite an expanse of glass. That's 102,000 pounds of water over our heads. And totally earthquake-proof. To support the weight of the 12,000 gallon pool above, a one and a quarter inch thick clear acrylic panel was installed for its stability while allowing sunlight to filter through. Oh, I don't believe this. How incredible, there's your sun. Yeah. What fun. I love this creative architectural solution. It provides light, a fun way to interact with other parts of the home, and saves space in the design. Simply brilliant. Mother Nature is an infinite source of inspiration. After a trip to Southern Africa to see Victoria Falls, the owners of this chlorine pool in Oklahoma were eager to build a smaller version in their very own backyard. This stunning $3 million pool is 65 feet long and 40 feet wide. It boasts four nine-foot waterfalls made from 500 tons of locally sourced Oklahoma stone and moves 800 gallons of water per minute over its cliff face, all with the simple touch of a button. The water flows across a rocky 220-foot stream bed and into an expansive three-acre man-made lake. A flagstone beach entrance allows easy access to the water. More adventurous swimmers can plunge right into the 12-foot deep waters from the diving rock set high above. Across the patio, a solarium conceals a cozy spa with a view of the pool. While it may look like all of these rocks have been there since the dawn of time, the thousands of tons of rock and boulders used to build the pool and the waterfalls came from a nearby quarry. The color of the rocks was carefully selected so that the landscape retains its color year-round, even when the leaves are off the trees. If you want a little change of scenery and want to sneak away from the scorching summer sun, take a swim through the waterfalls and you'll enter into a 900-foot square, 14-foot tall grotto. That's bigger than the average New York City apartment. The design of the grotto is what brought the owner's Victoria Falls inspiration to life, as they wanted the look of a massive water feature while also having something to stand under. 330 gallons of water per minute pour over the grotto walls, which are made of reinforced steel and concrete above water level, which is lighter. Underwater, however, the walls are made of solid concrete. In the grotto is an impressive four-seat swimmer bar, full kitchen, and a sunbright TV designed to handle the extreme humidity of the environment. And if you think this is the perfect place to yodel or belt out a song, you're right. The entire interior was carefully crafted to resemble a natural cave with reverberant acoustics. And this isn't just a great place to spend a sunny afternoon. The pool shines at night as well, with computer-controlled LED lights that display over 16 million color combinations. Day or night, this pool is simply breathtaking.
Whether entertaining large parties or simply reading a book in a quiet grotto, this pool has beautiful spaces for everyone to enjoy. Coming up, at over half a mile long, this next pool shatters all records. Swimming pools can take on a dazzling array of shapes and sizes and in some pretty extreme locations. But there is one place left for us to visit. A pool that is so grand and so expansive that literally every other pool we've seen so far would fit inside it and with room left over. This pool holds the Guinness Book of World Records title as the biggest pool on Earth. Opened in 2006 at the San Alfonso del Mar Resort on the Pacific coast of Chile, this pool, or more accurately speaking, man-made lagoon, was designed by Fernando Fishman of Crystal Lagoons Corporation and took over five years to construct. The pool is a staggering 3,323 feet long. That's six tenths of a mile. The next largest pool in the world is less than half that length. It has a surface area of 20 acres and holds 66 million gallons of salt water. Roughly the equivalent of 100 Olympic sized swimming pools or 6,000 backyard pools. With a maximum depth of 115 feet, it is also one of the deepest pools in the world. Just 16 feet shy of the record. So where does all this water come from? It's actually seawater. In effect, the pool is an extension of the nearby Pacific Ocean. The water is treated and filtered before it enters the pool, ensuring it is crystal clear. There are no artificial chemicals used and no waste water goes back into the sea. It's all filtered and recirculated. The sun heats the water in the lagoon to nearly 10 degrees warmer than the nearby ocean, resulting in an average 80 degree year-round temperature. There are real sand beaches all along the shore. 3,500,000 pounds of sand. There's even an interior pool covered by a dazzling steel and glass pyramid. So you can still take a dip if it starts to rain. But with all that space, you can do a lot more than swim. The area is so massive, you can kayak, sail, jet ski, and use other small watercraft. You can even scuba dive. And best of all, you don't have to worry about the pool filling up with people. Unless the entire population of Santiago drops in for a dip, space shouldn't be an issue. Pools can be so many different things to so many different people. But what really makes pools special is the way they bring people together. So take the plunge and explore the never-ending possibilities a swimming pool can offer. I'm the pool master, Anthony Archer-Wills, and I'll see you where...